Hey everyone, here for a very important video today, something that just really fires me up. So I'm going to try to keep this short and keep myself low key. But this is something that just is such a huge problem in the veterinary world today. So I got my fancy dancy board out and the video today is called veterinary prescription diets equal expensive band-aids so what do I mean by that what I mean by that is that these prescription diets are recommended after your pet develops a type of medical problem and these diets often don't 100% even correct the problem that they're being prescribed for, but also they may help that specific problem to a certain extent, but over time may cause other health problems because they're basically no different than a temporary solution, like a Band-Aid, because these foods are very lacking in the overall whole health and nutrition that your pets really need to be healthy. Do you not want to be doing this today? <laughs> so again, it's, it's, to me, it's a, it's a big frustration and a, a big problem that I hope to see get resolved and better and better through the years. But basically, these companies that make these prescription diets, the long and short of it is this is what happens. You start feeding your pet their normal formula. Let's say you have an adult cat, you might start feeding them the indoor adult cat formula, okay? And your cat seems fine for three, four years and then develops some type of medical issue maybe diabetes, maybe kidney stones, maybe um, chronic urinary tract infections, maybe skin allergies, and at which point you go to your veterinarian and your veterinarian diagnoses the problem and then prescribes, oh, well, you need to put your pet on this prescription food now, which is specifically formulated for your cat's problem. So you do it because you trust your veterinarian and you trust them to know what's best to do for your pet. So the problem is though, when you think this through and when you look at it from a holistic point of view, any holistic veterinarian or holistic animal nutritionist, we see that the problem actually began by the lack of the nutrients in that food's formulation way before your pet even had that problem. So these companies are getting veterinarians to recommend them because this is what they're taught in school and they're promoting their products in their normal formulas and then promoting these prescription products and you're paying these companies and making them wealthier and wealthier every day with your hard-earned bucks to feed your pets nutritionally deficient foods for a period of time until they start to have health problems. And then you're paying an ex exorbitant, what is the word? Exorbitant <laughs> amount of money to then put them on a special prescription food to mask the problem that their original food ever even created. It's just, it's infuriating to me. <laughs> so what I hope to do and continue to promote in this video and other videos and articles is the fact that we need to, we need to skip this process altogether. We need to never start our pets on these products and these foods 
that are ultimately deficient and going to lead your, your pet to health problems in the first place. And so how we do this is pretty simple. We just have to know what should be in our food for our pets. Know what the needs of a dog is, know what the needs of a cat is, and we have to find good companies that actually care about the animals and use the right ingredients, whole food sources. There should be meat as a very first ingredient, some type of organ meats, some type of low starch vegetables and a little bit of fruit, sometimes a little bit of grain like rice, and then some added minerals and vitamins if you're doing a canned food. And that's it. Getting ch Choosing the right food to begin with is going to eliminate this whole series of escalating crisis for your animal. So often the point where people come to me is now their cat has been sick for X amount of time with whatever condition. They're on this said prescription diet. It worked okay for three years and now their cat's in crisis mode, literally knocking on, on death's door because this special food can only take them so far because it just was the same nutrient deficient crap that got them sick in the first place, just formulated a little special to kind of put a band-aid on the problem. So it's hard. It's hard to see this and hard to, to try to undo <laughs> damage that's been done over years of lacking nutrients. But it can be done, thankfully. Um, all it takes is just, just the right knowledge and the right nutrition a lot of times and a lot of things can be reversed. So I wanted to give you one specific example. There are so many prescription diets out there, there's no way I would have time or knowledge to go through the spectrum. But one example this week that came to me that motivated me to want to do this specific video today was somebody with a pet with a cat with skin allergies. And so after dealing with the skin allergy problem for a little while and seeing the veterinarian, their veterinarian had recommended the prescription canned food called ZD. And so I, I know a lot of the prescription allergy foods and I, again, don't promote them at all because they go about dealing with the allergy in the wrong way. They try to chemically alter the food to make it non-allergenic instead of just removing the ingredients that are in the food that's causing the allergy. To me, you know, that that's not health promoting in any way, shape, or form. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. So, uh, this specific food, the ZD, the ingredients are hydrolyzed chicken liver, water, cornstarch, cellulose, and soybean oil, and then a bunch of vitamins and minerals. So it's got chicken liver, that's one redeeming quality. <laughs> the rest of those ingredients, there's really no, there's no nutritional value to cornstarch, cellulose, or soybean oil. There's next to no vitamins or minerals, or it's, they're not whole food sources. They're not vegetables and fruits and meats that your pet should be eating. So the, the big issue here too with the ZD food is the hydrolyzed chicken liver. So what they do is they put the chicken liver through a process to sort of pre-digest it. So when the pet eats it, the immune response is tricked because it doesn't see the protein as needing to be digested, which is what triggers the response because the chemical process it's put through has pre-digested it for the body. So sometimes pets go on this food, sure, their itchy skin does go away and it seems okay for a while, but then you're gonna start having issues down the road. I've seen pets on this kind of food and then they start having renal failure and you know kidney stones and many other whatever kinds of, of problems because the food just overall is lacking good nutrients and it's it's made from a chemical process. So the better way that we could deal with this problem is take them off chicken. Chicken's the number one allergen for cats. So 
The cat simply should just be changed to a diet that's chicken.